With almost exactly four months left until the 2024 general election, Donald Trump seems to be building a pretty consistent and large lead, especially after the fallout from the latest debate. And it seems, especially on this forecast model, that he does have a 70% chance of winning the election, which is up drastically from uh, before the debate. But before we get started on this, let's see the new uh, Puck News leaked Dem internal polling from Open Labs. And this is very, very interesting. And it's shocking to say the least that these are Dem internal polls. And it's gone all over social media, especially Twitter. And everyone's seeing this that Donald Trump right now is favored to win New Mexico, Virginia, and states like New Hampshire, losing Maine at large, Minnesota, and Colorado by all tilt margins and it's very very surprising and we see here that pre and post debate margins donald trump has been gaining an average of 2.2 percentage points on average it's crazy to see states like north carolina and georgia are 10 points and above for donald trump arizona's 9.7 nevada is 8.8 .8, pennsylvania 7.6 and so on and so forth and him winning states like new mexico and virginia to me seemed pretty much almost impossible but it seems here in these Dem internals that uh, it you know is possible and that there's a chance. And even if if these Dem internals are showing it, you know I wonder what is actually going to happen. And this is definitely more of like a snapshot in time. And we don't know exactly what's going to happen in four months. But this is giving us a clear edge and clear sh uh, view that right now uh, Joe Biden is very very likely to lose his reelection campaign. But without further ado, let's get to this model. But before that, I wanted to show you guys what this model predicted in 2020. And in 2020, they gave Joe Biden a 91.4% chance of winning on November 3rd and Trump an 8.6. And they ended up getting two states wrong, the states of North Carolina and the states of Florida. The, all, every other state they did get correct. Obviously, some of the margins were off. Joe Biden ended up not winning the popular by this much. So they did end up overestimating Joe Biden by a little bit, quite a little bit in some of these states like uh, Arizona, Nevada, I overestimate a little bit. Georgia wasn't that bad. North Carolina and Florida, he was a little, they were a little off. And then states like Iowa and Ohio were off pretty considerably and states in the rust belt too so they definitely got some of these margins wrong but they only got two states wrong in general so it's very interesting to look at how they did overestimate democrats and now it's a complete reversal where they have 70 percent chance trump's gonna win 30 percent chance biden's gonna win and we're gonna fill out a map based on some of these states or all 50 of these states and we're going to see here, just going over some of these numbers, Trump has a 67% chance of winning Nevada, 76% chance of winning Arizona, Wisconsin, 68, Michigan, 64, Pennsylvania, 68, Minnesota's only 54 for Biden, only 61 uh, for Biden, Virginia. New Hampshire is favored to go for by uh, Trump and Maine is also only 55 to 45. So a complete reversal. Even New Jersey is only a 76 to 24. New Mexico, 70, 30. But anyways, I had covered this forecast in a previous video, but now we're going to fill out a map and we can see that it is really, since I've covered it, gone much more in favor of Donald Trump. He's projected to win the Piper vote too. He's projected right now on average to win 303 electoral votes to have a 2% popular vote win. And we're going to go all through these states margin by margin. And we're going to begin with safe states. So we're going to start over here with both the safe states for Republicans and Democrats. But we're going to go down from the bottom here and fill them out both. So for Democrats, states that they will win by 12 percentage points or more. We're going to have, obviously, the District of Columbia going into that safe column over here. We're going to have the state of Vermont, Massachusetts, and Maryland also going in that column. And these are definitely the most liberal states. And then we're going to have the state of California and Hawaii also going in that margin. I'm going to point out Hawaii is quite a lot closer than it was in the previous election. But to finish off this, we're going to have Maine's first district, which will remain in the safe column. We're going to have the state of New York, which has gone all the way down to 23%. Sorry, all the way down to 14%, which is down from 23. And then we're going to have the final states of Rhode Island, which is barely on that safe margin, and the states of Washington. So that is all Biden gets in the state, in the safe column 
12 points or above. Donald Trump will receive a slew of states beginning with Nebraska's third. And I'm going to put all of Nebraska's districts in here already because they're all going to be safe apart from the second. We're going to have Wyoming, West Virginia, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Idaho, South Dakota, Arkansas, Kentucky, Alabama, Tennessee, Utah, Nebraska, as we discussed, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Kansas, Montana, Missouri, South Carolina, Alaska. So I'm going to put all those states that are usually in Trump's safe column all in that safe column. So none of these are a surprise. And as you can see, the margins, they're very, very safe for Donald Trump. And then in that safe column, we're going to have Iowa, which is 14 points, uh, main second district, and Ohio. And just remember, states like Iowa and Ohio were 8 percentage points to 9% between 2016 and 2019, both for Donald Trump. So quite a good lead that Donald Trump has built in these two states. After all these safe states are filled out on this map, we see that Donald Trump has a 149 to 130 advantage, which is definitely much different than what we're used to because Democrats usually take states like Oregon and Illinois and New Jersey and Connecticut and Delaware by that 12 point or higher, especially in the last election where Joe Biden easily won all these states in that safe column. But in this election, according to a, a forecast that predicted this in 2020, we're going to see a complete 180 where now Donald Trump is much more favored to win the election. But moving into those likely states between 6 and 12, Democrats will first start with the state of Connecticut, around an 11-point win for them. Moving on to Delaware and Illinois, 11 and 10-point wins for them. Moving on to the state of Oregon, only a 9.5%, and New Jersey, 6.8%, which is on the border with being a lean state for Joe Biden. But moving on to Donald Trump states, he will have a few in that likely column. We're going to have Texas first at 11 percent. And that is, you know, pretty comparable to what the margins were in 08 and closer to 08 and 012, where the state was more Republican. And to see the trend that Democrats had hoped to the left turn, you know, quite the opposite. And then it's moving back to the right shows the Hispanic trends, especially in the Rio Grande Valley and that bleeding of support with the minorities in the suburbs for Joe Biden and the Democrats means that Republicans right now do not have to worry about losing the state of Texas. Similar on par with Texas, we're going to have the state of Florida, which is not a surprise to us. I expect him to also win by that margin. You know, he had been gaining, especially from 16 to 20, he gained a few percentage points and I expect him to win by this margin. But more surprising is the state of North Carolina and Georgia, which is projected to both be seven point margins for Donald Trump. He had actually lost the state of Georgia after it trended more than five points to the left. And the state of North Carolina, a state that Republicans have been winning by narrow amounts since 2012. And every Senate uh, race had gone to them also by less than five percentage points. This time around, forecasters predict that this state will be a lot safer than usual. And to complete the likely margins for Republicans, we're going to have the state of Arizona going in that margin. And also for Democrats, one more, the state of Colorado will be going in that likely margin. Barely 6.3% win, a lot, lot less than that 13.5% win that they got in the 2020 election. After filling out all the likely states on both sides, we can see already that Donald Trump is at 262 electoral votes. Joe Biden trails pretty far behind at only 191. Donald Trump is only eight electoral votes short of clinching that uh, 2024 election win. So moving on now to some of the lean states, we're going to begin. And these are states between two and six percent. First of all, Joe Biden will be winning the state of New Mexico, according to this model, by 4.9%, putting it in a range where I believe is, you know, a little more accurate. And I think that, you know, it will be around this range, but he will also take the state of Virginia by only 2.5%. And these states are a lot, lot down from their 10 point wins in uh, 2020. So these reversals among trends, especially in Virginia, where uh, Joe Biden had doubled Hillary Clinton's margin and the state of New Mexico is pretty stagnant, didn't really change too much. But those Hispanic trends that Republicans are gaining a lot in these Sunbelt states will be most likely carried out to the state of New Mexico as well. And this is why they're projecting a margin a lot more closer than the previous election. But that's the only two states that Joe Biden will be winning in that uh, lean margin. Republicans, Trump will be taking, first of all, the state of uh, Pennsylvania by 4.3%, per, uh, Wisconsin by 4.2%, and the state of Michigan as well. 
by 3.3% and the state of Nevada by 4%. So these margins are a lot more safe than even I predict. And right now it does show that Donald Trump is going to take the election win pretty easily with the state of Pennsylvania being the most likely to tip the election in his favor that get him off uh, over that 270 electoral vote threshold and right now we're at 312 222 and what are they projecting the closest states to be they're projecting that minnesota new hampshire maine at large and nebraska second will be the closest state of this 2020 election a lot different from 2020 where they projected that states like iowa and ohio and and uh, north carolina and florida Georgia and Arizona and even Texas will be the closest states. So a very strong national shift towards the right. And we're going to continue to get more data as we get closer, but we're only four months away. It's not like we're one year away. So there's only so much the Democrats can do. And we still don't know if, if they're going to change Biden out, but there are, they are running out of time and it's getting very hard to mount a campaign. And it's supposed to be, you know, Kamala Harris. But even if they put Kamala Harris, I don't even think she has a chance to win. She is, in fact, more unpopular than Joe Biden himself. But moving finally now into the tilt states between zero and two percent. For Democrats, the states of Maine and Minnesota are going to be one point or less into that tilt column. Minnesota only D plus 0.9. Maine only D plus 1.2. Moving on to Republican tilt states, the big surprise of the night is going to be the state of New Hampshire, where they predict that Republicans will win the state of New Hampshire by 0.2%, which hasn't happened since the year 2000, where, where Bush had won New Hampshire by 1.3, and he had lost it when he was running for re-election by 1.4. And that's really the story with you know a lot of New Jersey. Uh, sorry, that's that's really the story with the state of New Hampshire, where they do not like incumbents, and every time an incumbent runs for re-election. They really do not like him, and they always shift in favor of the opposite party. So it's not a surprise that it will get closer. However, they are predicting a shift of greater than seven percentage points, which puts that in Donald Trump's column. And also, we're going to have Maine's Nebraska's second congressional district, which is projected to vote for Donald Trump by 0.1%. And this will be the map according to jhkforecast.com. And you can go check out their website and check out their margins as well. And they are constantly updating this daily, I believe. And, and you can just see that over time, especially after that debate, Donald Trump has just been gaining consistently percentage to win the electoral votes and the popular vote all been gaining. And this is a vastly different map than this two, uh, 2020 map over here. I mean, Donald Trump flips the states of Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania in lean margins, Arizona and Georgia in likely margins, Nebraska second and New Hampshire in tilt margins, Minnesota and Maine at large are within a point of being flipped. States like New Mexico and Virginia are in that lean margin from being flipped and other states like even the city of New Jersey is only around a six to seven point win for Joe Biden, according to this map. So I think right now Joe Biden is in trouble. And I think, you know, even looking at these over here, how much worse it could possibly be. I mean, this 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 model doesn't even take into consideration the possibility of Trump coming closer in New Mexico and in winning the state of Virginia. So we're going to continue to monitor this. But all these numbers over here that we have gone in the past few days, in the past week after the debate and we're going to continue to moderate over the month of july it has looked really really grim for joe biden but that is going to be all for today's video please subscribe like and comment on this video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll check you guys out in the next one